Blessed day, beloved people of God. Welcome to the Lord Reigns. Grace, peace, love, prosperity, victory, success, and divine health to everyone made available by God the Great King, who is the creator, owner, and possessor of all heaven and earth, everyone and everything in them. God the healer. God is Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. He is the one who cures all sickness and disease and heals every kind of injury. He mends and repairs people and he alleviates distress and anguish. He has the power to do what conventional medical treatment cannot do. He has the power to destroy all the works of the enemy against divine health and the power to restore people to wholeness. Jehovah Rapha is our comforter when we are going through times of physical and or mental pain and suffering. Though it has been said that sickness, disease, pain, and suffering are punishments from God for wrongdoing, that is not the truth about God. If we take a look at the way Jesus healed people in the Word, we will see that most times He didn't address any issue of wrongdoing or anything else. And if it was possible that condemnation of wrongdoing might stand in the way, Jesus pronounced forgiveness and he healed them, dealing with the sickness at hand. Look at how Jesus healed the man with a legion, a unit of 3,000 to 6,000 unclean spirits. Jesus didn't address him about what sin he had done to have so many demons. As a matter of fact, he didn't talk to the man at all. Jesus saw his need to be healed and healed him. And how about Malchus, the servant of the high priest who was an enemy of Jesus? His ear was cut off by Simon Peter because he was one of the participants that came to arrest Jesus. Jesus touched the man's ear and healed him. Although Malchus came in the company of those who were against Jesus, Jesus still healed him. God sent his only begotten son to take the punishment for all wrongdoing, including sickness and disease. Healing is part of God's great salvation. It is the children's bread and we are his children. Salvation didn't happen after Jesus died. It took place when Christ was slain from the foundation of the world. And the moment he entered the earth realm, he brought the kingdom, the government of God, with all its benefits and privileges of salvation with him. Jehovah Rapha came personally to heal all manner of sickness, disease, torments, possessions with devils, lunacy, palsy, and leprosy, and he still heals every one of them today. When declining health, marital problems, family problems, loss of a loved one, job, home, transportation, or any other matter that overwhelms the heart, mind, and body come, pray and hold on to the Word of God to bring strength and healing. Speak his word and it will not come back empty handed. It will produce the healing that we speak. The Lord says to us today, the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick and I will raise him up. And if they have committed wrongdoing, they will be forgiven. James 5.15 Do not fear because I am with you. Do not be dismayed because I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. 
I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41.10 I will restore you to health and heal your wounds. Jeremiah 30.17 I will sustain you on your sickbed. In your illness, I will restore you to full health. Psalm 41.3 I heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. Psalm 147.3 I have seen your ways, but I will heal you. I will guide you and restore comfort to you, creating praise on your lips. I say peace, peace to those far and near, and I will heal you. Isaiah 57, 18 and 19. Don't let your hearts be troubled and don't be afraid. John 14, 27. And our God shall supply all our need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. For he decrees, I am the Lord who heals you. Yes, Lord, heal us and we will be completely well. Rescue us, and we will be perfectly safe. You are the one we praise. Hallelujah. The Lord does all things well. For when great crowds came to Jesus, the people brought the lame, the blind, the crippled, the mute, and many others, and laid them at his feet, and he healed them all. Yes, he has healed all manner of sickness and disease. For God exalted Jesus to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Father seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality, power, and might, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. And he put all things under his feet, and gave him to be head over all things to us, his body, the church, the fullness of him who fills all in all. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and we are complete in him which is the head of all principality and power. For sickness, weakness, disease, wounds, infirmity, and afflictions are satanic bondage, and we ought to be loosed today. For Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us, that the blessing given to Abraham might come on us, so that by faith, we might receive the promise of the Spirit. For He is the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for Him? For Christ has declared, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because He has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free to proclaim this the year of the Lord's favor. Yes, the Lord sent his word and healed us, curing and mending us, making us whole in every area of our lives and being. For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any two-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Yes, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and God heals all who have need of healing. If we need healing for our finances, the Word says for our sake, Jesus was made poor that through his poverty we might be rich, become rich and wealthy, increase with goods, be made and wax rich. We are lenders and not borrowers. God has given us the power to get wealth. The Lord shall increase us more and more, us and our children. 
We are blessed of the Lord which made heaven and earth. We owe no man anything but to love them. Let the Lord be magnified who takes pleasure in our prosperity. To God belongs all the silver and gold, the cattle upon a thousand hills, and it is his good pleasure to give it to us. If we need healing for relationships, the word says that by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of us be in full agreement in what we say, and that there be no divisions or factions among us, but that we be perfectly united in our way of thinking and in our judgment. It says to be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. We forgive one another as Christ has forgiven us. We make room for each other's faults and restore each other when we err. God's love both in and through us covers any wrongdoing. We walk, grow, and prosper together because we agree. It is pleasant for us to dwell together in unity, and in our unity the Lord commands his blessing. If we need healing for a broken heart, the Lord says that he binds up the brokenhearted. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Our souls melt away for sorrow, but he strengthens us according to his word. He will wipe away every tear from our eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. Yes, he says, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen and I will help you. It is the Lord who goes before us. He will be with us. He will not leave us nor forsake us. We do not have to fear nor be dismayed. He will give us a beautiful headdress instead of ashes. He will give us the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the garment of praise instead of a faint spirit. For a cheerful heart is good medicine. If we are weak and need strength, the word says, I will give you strength and bless you with peace. His grace is sufficient for us, for God's power is made perfect in weakness. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those whose hope is in the Lord will renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Come to him, all who are weary and burdened, and he will give you rest. We can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. So let the weak say, I am strong and mighty. If we need healing for the mind, the word says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. For faith in his name makes us strong and gives us perfect soundness. We have the mind of Christ, such that our ways are his ways and our thoughts are his thoughts. The mind that is in Christ is also in us. When anxiety is great within us, his consolation brings us joy. Therefore, we ought to be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let our requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. For the Lord keeps us in perfect peace, for our mind is stayed on him, rested and supported, sustained, revived, and refreshed by him. We destroy arguments and every high and proud thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and we bring every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. If we need healing concerning our will, the word says that God works in us both to will and to do for his good pleasure. The Lord establishes our steps. We delight in his way and his word is a lamp unto our feet. 
We lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways we acknowledge the Lord, and He directs our path. We are willing to come to Him that we may have life. We seek after God, His kingdom, and His righteousness. We have such a heart in us that we fear the Lord and always keep His commandments, and it is well with us and with our children forever. For our mind is not hostile to God, for it submits to God's law, the law of the spirit of life in Christ. If we need healing for our soul, the word says that the Lord desires above all things that we prosper and be in health, even as our souls prosper. Yes, our souls find rest in God. Our hope comes from him. He restores our soul. He leads us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul, and the testimony of the Lord is sure. Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Why be cast down, O our soul? And why are we in turmoil within ourselves? Hope in God, for we shall again praise him our salvation and our God, for his joy is our strength. For he says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light, and I will restore to you health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. And if we need healing, for our body. The word says, my son, pay attention to my words and be willing to learn. Open your ears to my sayings. Do not let them escape from your sight. Keep them in the center of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and healing and health to all your flesh. When I see the blood, I will pass over you and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. For Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live. I have healed you and brought up your soul from the grave. I have kept you alive from going down into the pit. You shall not die, but live and declare my works. The years of your life shall be many, for I have found a ransom for you. Your flesh shall be fresher than a child's, and you shall return to the days of your youth. Your light shall break forth as the morning, and your health shall spring forth speedily. I am come that you might have life, and that you might have it more abundantly. I do good and heal all that are oppressed of the devil. My power causes diseases to depart from you. My life may be made manifest in your mortal flesh. I have given you my name and have put all things under your feet. I have given you power and authority over all unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. I, Jesus Christ, make you whole. Behold, I will bring it health and cure and I will cure you and will reveal unto you the abundance of peace and truth. All praise be to God, for surely he has taken up our pain and bore our suffering. Yes, he was pierced for our transgression, he was crushed for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Praise the Lord, O my soul. All my inmost being praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all our sins and heals all our diseases. Christ has set us free. This means we are really free and completely liberated. Now let us hold on to our freedom, continuing to stand firm and never again becoming subject to any yoke of bondage. For it is with our heart we have believed and are justified, and with our mouth we have professed our faith and we are saved. We are kept safe and sound, 
rescue from danger, destruction, and suffering, and we are made well, healed, and restored to health, and made whole.